So uh, thanks everyone for the introduction, Louis. Thanks for uh, uh, for saying those kind words about us. Indeed, it's been busy times at Dadeku with uh, our two-year anniversary two months ago, and then two days ago, version two coming out, which is all very symmetrical and nice. Uh, so all of us uh, data science people are very happy with all those twos. Um, what does Dateku do? We are the developer of Data Science Studio. What is Data Science Studio? It's basically a collaborative platform for the teams which are responsible for doing data science projects. Um, collaborative meaning that it's installed on a server, you access it through a, a web interface, so multiple people can work on the same project at the same time. Um, and we think that what, uh, one of the most important things in doing these kinds of projects is having a whole suite of tools integrated into one platform. Because we start from the assumption that your data is not the data that you're going to need to model. You're starting with messy data in a variety of different storage technologies. Uh, you need to be able to connect to those technologies, prepare your features, uh, clean up your data, uh, and then apply machine learning techniques to it, then run everything out into, uh, into production. And that's what we do. Um, so I have an example here. Uh, this is a project uh, that we've developed in uh, DSS, just to so show some of the, uh, the capabilities. Um, and so what we have here is a churn prediction model, uh, specifically if we go into the data. Uh, and this is data that we happen to upload for the purposes of the demo. If this were a real deployment, of course, this data would probably be in some database somewhere, SQL, NoSQL, Hadoop, wherever. Uh, and so we first get a view of the data and we can start understanding. So what do we have here? Well, we have mobile phone, telephone, or telephone customers. Uh, we have some historical data, so we know if these individuals churned or not. So this is going to be useful for us to train our model a little bit later on. Um, I'm having a look through my data to start getting an understanding of uh, what I have to work with. Uh, there's some things that I'd probably like to clean up a little bit. Uh, for example, here I see that this date is not in a format that I want. Um, also, this data looks good here, but then I look at my data quality indicator. I see that there's 21% of, the, uh, uh, of this uh, variable which is empty, which is not great. Um, so what do I do? Well, I can clean it up. How do I clean it up? Well, I have a visual preparation script, we call it. Uh, to do that. And so off on the left side, what you see here is a stack of uh, processors which we put in to clean up this data. So there's simple stuff like replace by. If I go down a little bit further, you see here that I'm creating a new column based on a custom formula. So those of you who are familiar with Excel, which is I assume roughly 100% of the audience, uh, are going to find yourself right at home. So is it just Excel? Well, no, uh, because now when I go and execute this, if this is in a big data environment, that's going to be done out in the big data environment on billions of rows if that's what I happen to have in my, uh, in my data. So already that's pretty cool. Um, however, let's continue cleaning this up. Um, let's go ahead and parse that date. Uh, so Data Science Studio is automatically going to detect that format. Uh, looks like it chose the right one, so I'm going to say OK. There I have the new dates in the right format. Um, but probably it's not the date that I want in my model. It's probably the age of the account that I want in my model. So go ahead and compute time since. Uh, so go ahead and do that. So now we have days from today back to, uh, to the date of the, uh, the account opening. Um, and maybe instead of days, I don't need that level of specificity, weeks will, uh, will be sufficient. Okay, so that's good. And so let's go back over to that column where I had some missing data. Uh, so there it is. Um, I know that's going to be a problem for my, uh, for my model as well. So what do I do with that? Well, I can replace these values, but what should I replace them with? Well, what's my data shape like? Uh, so I can go in here and do a quick analysis of my data. I see that it's a pretty much a normal distribution. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and replace those by the median value. So to do that, again, just a matter of clicking on one of the cells, fill empty rows with, and I'm going to go ahead and select the median. Um, and through the magic of Data Science Studio, I now have completed those cells, which is great. Um, so let's go back now to uh, uh, the flow and see what I can do next. What I want to do first, uh, and these, this is what I've been thinking about in my, uh, in my model, is first maybe identify some clusters uh, about who churned. Um, how can I use the different features to figure out who churned? Um, so the way that I'm going to do that is apply some machine learning techniques around clustering. Um, that's what I've done here. I'm not going to go into the details of what uh, K means here. Um, but basically, this is unsupervised learning, which we, uh, we just heard a little bit about, um, where we were able to identify different clusters. Uh, we then went in and renamed them based on our interpretation of the data. But things like this heat map allow me to, uh, to do that interpretation very quickly. So for example, here, this group that we ultimately uh, named high spenders, we see that they're spending a lot during the day, or sp they're spending a lot during the evening, and of course, then their total charge, the total amount that they've been charged uh, is quite high. That's in contrast to, uh, for example, another group that we identified, local callers, who really don't do any uh, international calling, and so on. 
Um, so now I have some, uh, a model which is uh, performing the way that I want it. I can apply that to my data now, and that's exactly what I'm doing here. I've trained my model, I have a trained model, and now I'm going to score my data. The end result is my data. If I go over to the right, I now have clusters applied. So let's have a look at what these, uh, these clusters are actually uh, uh, looking like. In Data Science Studio, we have the ability to do a certain amount of uh, visualization. So for example, here I can see my, uh, the churnability by cluster. So further to the right uh, is the higher probability of churning. Um, and I'm noticing that it's the high spenders way out here. Uh, but then I have this green category, and who's that? Well, that's the low spenders. So I'm gonna need some help understanding what's going on here. So why don't we start doing some predictions then? Um, so based on this data, I'm now going to do some predictions. Um, and so that's what I have here. I've launched a couple of different models to, uh, to predict uh, the outcome, specifically, is this person going to churn or not? Uh, I can go into one of these models and have a look at how the different uh, coefficients are performing across the different variables. I see that my cluster label, day callers, is actually quite high in the list. It has a pretty strong predictive value. Um, so it's good that I created those, uh, uh, those predictions. But more importantly, what I can do now, and this is one of the key uh, aspects of Data Science Studio, is that I can start going through uh, the, the process of feature engineering and model training very quickly and very iteratively. So this is the same interface as I had before. I'm going to modify my features a little bit, go back to my model and retrain. And when I say yes, go ahead, uh, I'm going to relaunch. Uh, in this case, it happens to be a random forest and a logistic regression. Uh, there's a variety of other algorithm, uh, algorithms that you can uh, select from. And if I look, for example, on my random forest, I can see that I just improved my performance, which is great. Now let's say I'm satisfied with that. What do I do? Well, let's go ahead and score some data. Um, and that's exactly what I've done here. Um, this is my data that I want to score. So this, of course, no longer has the, uh, the predicted outcome in it. Um, I can just follow this through the path. Uh, I'm going to apply my clusters. Uh, I'm going to now score my data so that in this final, or nearly final data set, I now have probability of uh, a false outcome, uh, probability of a true outcome, and then a prediction. Is this person going to uh, churn true or false? Uh, one last step to, uh, to go one little bit further. I'm going to calculate with one last formula, uh, what's the revenue loss from, uh, uh, from this? So basically taking a weighted uh, lost revenue, and I'm going to see that this person predicted true that they're going to churn, I'm going to lose this much revenue. So all of a sudden I can get a very advanced uh, look into what my data is doing and what my predictions are telling me. Um, so now, of course, uh, a lot of you in the room are saying, great, another point and click tool for data science, uh, not exactly what we needed. I can only use pandas. If I don't have pandas, I don't know what I'm doing, so give me pandas. Um, of course, uh, in Data Science Studio, at any step in the way, we could have done this in a point and click interface, or we could have done this in code, a little bit of Python that, uh, that you see here. Um, you can see, for example, the visualizations. We have the option of doing those as custom web apps. Uh, so whatever JavaScript, if you're a D3 junkie, go ahead and start using that directly here. And importantly, those models, at any step in the models, you can say export it to an IPython notebook. You can go in and tweak and refine all in one platform so that whatever it is that you've uh, developed, uh, once you get back to here, you can then say, build me this. It's going to run the, uh, all the dependencies, retrain the model if necessary, uh, or execute the Python if you have Python in your, uh, uh, in your flow, and give you the results that you need on a regular basis. And that, everyone, is Data Science Studio. <laughs>